Um, my name is Bella and I haven't made a video of myself in a very long time and I have this pumpkin and I thought I would get in the fall spirit and make a pumpkin seed video. I've already cut the top out of this pumpkin and let's make some pumpkin seeds. I would love to use the rest of this pumpkin without just throwing it in the trash because I don't want this pumpkin to go to waste. I would like to use all of the parts of the pumpkin. I normally just roast the seeds and carve it, but um, in the past I've actually also done pumpkin bread with the pumpkin cup, but I think I might roast the outside of the pumpkin and um, see what we can get from that. Join me in my dimly lit kitchen and uh, let's make a video, fun. I'm not sure if I'm gonna carve it and just like let it be a jack-o'-lantern for a couple of nights just for fun before I roast it, but we'll clean it out first and see what we want to do. So I have this spoon that I might try to get more of the guts out. It might be good to like scrape it, but I don't think it's going to actually scoop because this spoon is kind of um, shallow. I have two seeds. Okay, that doesn't work. I am recording this on my phone because my other camera doesn't have any battery and I didn't really want to wait much longer to film this because the pumpkin was sitting open and I was like, I'd like to film this, so let's film it. We're going to try a fork. I want to get all the guts out because I want to make some pumpkin bread with the guts. Okay, so now we have the seeds and the pumpkin guts out of the pumpkin, and now we're going to strain and divide the pumpkin guts and the pumpkin seeds. I'm putting these seeds in a strainer because I'm going to rinse them next, so that's way I don't dirty multiple dishes. So we are going to lay these pumpkin seeds down on a clean dish towel because we're going to try to dry them out a little bit before we put them into the oven. And so I'm going to just spread these seeds around and then dab them with another paper towel, not a paper towel, a uh, whatever these are called, regular towel, dishcloth, um, just to try to get them a little more dry. Just get the, all that excess wet off because the oven will do most of the drying um, as well. I mean, a lot of people do these pumpkin seeds differently, so it's really just um, whatever your preference is. And if you're on a time crunch or if you have time to let them sit overnight, then totally let them sit overnight. But um, I just am going to put these seeds on this pan and you'll see while I have this little um, silicone mat down at the bottom, it'll help me get the seeds off of the pan after they're done cooking. I add a lot of salt. I love having salty things. I'm also gonna add a little bit of paprika because I like it a little, have a little bit of an extra taste to it. So um, I'm going to add the paprika just a little bit and then I'm going to kind of spread that around to make sure the pumpkin seeds are evenly coated. Okay, so we're gonna let these pumpkin seeds dry out in the open for a little bit. I have them on the baking sheet and we'll just let them dry out for a little bit before we put them in the oven. I did put a little bit of seasoning on them already because I got excited. So hopefully that won't ruin them too bad. They might just have to go in the oven longer because I uh, was a little impatient and wanted to get ahead and get started. Okay, so these have dried out for a little bit and we're gonna put them in the oven at 300 and I might just keep an eye on them and roast them for maybe about 30 to 45 minutes and I'm gonna flip them a couple times and just keep an eye on them because they are a little damp. Um, but yeah, hopefully they turn out good. They can't go bad, right? Yeah. 
All right, so our pumpkin seeds are finally done. They were in the oven for quite a bit, actually. I kept checking on them and I wanted to make sure they were this nice golden brown. They were in there for at least 30 minutes and I just kept checking them every 10 minutes or so until I got them the color that I wanted. And you'll see here, this is exactly why I put the slip mat down is so I could easily just pour these seeds right into the jar. If you make pumpkin seeds, let me know in the comments below and I would love to hear what you do differently or what you do the same and what kind of toppings you put on them. Thanks for watching.